Hi everybody, it's Alicia with Dane Cuisine answering your questions today about the differences between stock, broth, bouillon, and consomme. So what is the difference and when do you use them? Okay, let's start. So stock is more intense than broth and is generally cooked slowly to extract flavor from meat or fish bones. Broth is generally thinner than stock and is cooked for less time. Stock is used as an ingredient in other dishes, such as soups, stews, sauces, rather than served alone like broth. But if you're paleo like me, you're probably drinking a lot of bone broth. Um, but why isn't bone stock not bone broth? Since stock comes from bones? Well, one culinary expert that I researched said, broth is something you sip and stock is something you cook with. So that explains it, I guess. But what if there aren't any bones? <laughs> And how do we refer to vegetable stock? That's a trick question. Since stock comes from bones, there is no such thing as vegetable stock. So the proper term is vegetable broth. Okay, let's move on to bouillon. Bouillon is often used interchangeably with broth. So usually you find it in cube form, wrapped in gold. Think of bouillon as like super condensed chicken or beef broth in powder form. It disintegrates into hot liquid and gives you a big burst of flavor. But when you hear the term court bouillon, it's usually referring to broth made from fish bones. So since seafood cooks really quickly and fish bones are delicate and small, court bouillon is generally flavored with aromatics like bay leaves or vegetables like carrots and onions. So finally, let's talk about consomme. So consomme is clarified stock. Basically, when you cook stock, all the fat rises to the top, you put some egg whites in it, so all the solids rise to the top, and what's left underneath is this gorgeous, flavorful liquid that can be served by itself or with vegetables and mineral fish. Broth is opaque and cloudy, whereas consomme is perfectly clear, usually amber or pale yellow, depending upon the stock that was used to make the consomme. So send us some comments and questions and let us know what you think about this video. Find more of our videos on our YouTube channel, Dink Cuisine, and of course, our recipes on DinkCuisine.com. See you soon.